and makeup, nails, bitch, yes, I slay. I be giving face, eyebrows on swim. Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I have a different video for you guys. I'm continuing my weight loss journey. Today I'll be doing my two hour workout routine. When I first got into the gym, I was not staring there for two hours. This video is for motivational purposes only because I'm not expecting no one to want to stay in the gym for two hours and they just started going to the gym. But I've been going for a little while and I have motivated myself to stay there for two hours. So let's all get motivated and continue to watch during this video i'll be telling you guys the machines that i use and my goals are to tone up and lose weight at the same time so i'm doing strength exercises i'm doing cardio and i'm also doing resistance exercises as well so yeah y'all stay tuned to get motivated and to see my two hour gym workout routine when I walk into the gym, I always go to the treadmill first, adjusting the speed and the incline to the most intense that I'm going to be doing that day. And this day, I did 2.5 speed and the 2.5 incline, and that was the most intense I went. It, that may not be intense for other people, but that was intense for me, especially doing this for 30 minutes to an hour at a time. And this day, I did it for an hour. So I did 2.5, and as I go, I always adjust the speed and incline to fit like how I'm feeling like if I feel like the 2.5 is too much I will go down on speed or incline sometimes I do 2.7 speed without any incline at all but that's just how I do the treadmill The next phase, guys, in this two-hour workout is the 30-minute workout room. I always go to the 30-minute workout room right after I'm done with the treadmill. In the 30-minute workout room, you will find a full-body workout, a full-body exercise, something for everything on your body that you may want to work out. The first machine I'm doing here guys is the app machine and the app machine pretty much replicates crunches so this will assist you guys in losing daily fat and also like if you do have apps already toning up the apps that you do have and with this machine you're setting your weight of resistance and I always set my weight of resistance between 30 pounds and 50 pounds just depending on how intense I want to go that day and if I feel like I can take more weight of resistance I add more weight
The next machine I'm using in the 30 minute workout room is the lat pull down. And with the lat pull down, it targets your back and your arm. All you're doing with this machine is adjusting the weight and I always adjust it to 40 to 50. This workout, I'm going to adjust my weight to 50 and I'm going to pull down. This next machine, guys, is called the Seated Row. It helps you tone up your back. I try to do 100 of these each time. I, I really try to do 100 of all of the machines that um, require you to set a resistance weight. And I always set my resistance weight between 30 or 50 because that always works on me no matter what exercise or workout machine that I'm doing. Okay guys, this machine is called the shoulder press and this obviously helps you with your shoulders and your arms. I'm going to do 50 of these because my shoulders are not really my target area, but I feel like this is also helpful to like other parts of your arms. So I'm going to do 50 of these and I'm once again, I'm going to set the resistance weight to 30 or 50 like 30 in between 30 and 50 so it's gonna be 30 40 or 50 and i think for this particular day i set my resistance weight to 40. Okay, now we're on to the strength exercise portion of our workout. And this first exercise, I'm not really sure if it's an actual strength exercise, but I'm lifting weights, so that's what I'm going to call it. This exercise helps with your legs and your glutes. And all I'm doing is lifting the bar. The first 10 times that I do this, I'm not going to use any weight. I'm just going to be lifting the bar because i'm fairly new to this and i needed to just get used to lifting the bar and the second 10 that i will do i will put either five or ten pounds on it i think this particular time i put five pounds on each side so that was a total of 10. so yeah here we go
Okay, guys, I know we just jumped from strength exercise to this, but that first strength exercise I was doing, I really consider it like a leg and a glutes type of workout, and I like to stay on track. Like, if I'm doing legs and glutes, I'm going to do all the leg and glute machines in that portion of my workout. So, I went straight from strength to the stretching and ab room, and that's where you can find all the scratching machines to help you scratch out before you even work out as you find all the leg exercises and the glute exercises usually in the ab and stretching room the first machine that we are hopping on in the stretching and abs room is the inner thigh machine this helps you tone up your inner thighs if that's one of your problem areas as of resistance weight once again, I'm going to set it to no less than 30, no more than 50. Okay, y'all, the next machine that I'm doing in the abs and stretching room is the glutes extension machine. This machine obviously helps you tone up your glutes, and I'm going to do this at a resistance weight of 50, and I'm going to do it 100 times. The next machine, guys, that I'm getting on is called the leg press. This machine is actually where all the strength equipment is, but this is also a leg and glutes exercise. So, continuing with our leg and glutes exercises, I'm going to hop on the leg press. And my resistance weight for this is actually going to be 100 because I just found out that 100 is a 100 pounds is a good resistance weight for me. I can push 100 pounds with my legs, so that's what I'm going to set the resistance weight to on this exercise. And I'm also going to do 100 of these. And yeah, let's go. Okay. 
Okay, y'all. I know I'm kind of jumping back and forth, but this is actually how my workout goes. I'm actually on the rotary torso machine, and this machine helps with your upper mid section and your back, like your stomach and your back. It helps in toning your stomach and your back. But I'm, I've been jumping back and forth on, you know, strength exercises and cardio and all that but this is actually my last strength exercise after i get done with the rotary torso i am going to be doing the some cardio exercises just to like cool off after i leave because we are almost done yay guys we made it to well kind of the end <laughs> Okay, guys, on to cardio. Like I said, I do cardio to cool off after an intense workout. And this workout is kind of intense for me. I'm going to do the bikes for 20 minutes. And you can increase the intensity. But this night, I decided not to increase the intensity. Cause so my intensity is set at 1. And I'm going to do this for 20 minutes. My last cardio cool down workout is the elliptical and I'm going to stay on the elliptical for 20 minutes at no intensity. My intensity is set at 1 so there's practically no intensity for these machines but I'm staying on here for 20 minutes and this is the last exercise in my 2 hour workout routine. I'm glad you guys stayed and watched to this part in the video. Y'all might as well go ahead and subscribe. I really, really, really hope that this video was motivating to you. Guys, that was it for my two-hour workout. Thank you guys for coming to the gym with me. And if you stayed this far, make sure you comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all let me know what other videos that y'all would like to see pertaining to my weight loss journey. And once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video.